I, I don't want, like I said, to belabor that evidence is of record. What I want to know is that is there a statement or evidence that you are aware of to the effect that when Longwe ran outside, he saw the other perpetrators that would be the lookouts at the window outside at the yard. Is there a statement to that effect? No, there isn't. Let's go to the point that you said you're going to, uh, we, we, we're going to verify. Are there statements of witnesses that says, we saw people after the first shot or second shot or third shot, whatever shot, run out of Makumalo's household into the street and going whatever direction that they were going? Is there mm. such a statement? So, yes, my lord. So the first one that, well, the, the docket is voluminous. I think the court can see. So I've not exhausted all the searching, but the first one that I could come across that says that exactly is the one of uh, um, Makaleni, that is A11. Yes. And, and, and in paragraph three, he says specifically that he saw three black male running away from Kumalo's house, specifically. He specifies that and, 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 and it's A11 in the docket and that is in paragraph three. And he says one was armed with a firearm. That's, 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 that's how far he takes it, my lord. Okay, and then that one was armed with a firearm in Compa compilation of this identity kit with uh, warrant officer Stenkam, she says that firearm, I mean he says, or he places that firearm in the hands of the person that is depicted on the left of the picture, according to the descriptor given in the identity kit, correct? Um. I, I think let's go there, so, yeah. so, so, so that I don't say, is it, is it A46? It's uh, J, I think it's A46. Yes, it's A46. Yeah. A46. I've got it, my lord, I just want to read and, and, and make sure that we're on the same page. Yes, that is correct, my lord. It does say, um, witness saw something in his hand that could have been a firearm that's correct number. and there we go again another unanswered question okay brigadier bongani nicholas gininda managed to deflect from the question at hand the question was which statement okay it says the one who was armed with the firearm warrant officer stenekamp um says makeleni places the firearm in the hands of the sketched photo the one on the left and Gininda goes, you know what, let's go there. And then he just goes on to read Stenekamp's uh, statement, but doesn't answer the question because Ramasipili asked the one who's on the left on the sketch. And the left, I would think, is accused number three. Doesn't answer. So we don't know who Makeleni is putting the gun in based on this question, based on the record that has now been put because Ramasipili asked the question, and Gininda ran away from the answer. Well, ran away from the question, whichever way you look at it. And then next thing they've moved on, they're now talking about Longwe. So do you see what I'm saying is Ramasipili needs to strengthen his skills, listening skills, okay, and make sure that he follows through and make sure that he assesses. He needs to take the time to assess. Has my question been answered before he moves on? He has a tendency of just letting Brigadier Gininda go wild with those responses and he doesn't tie him back, but that was not my question. Answer my question. I think he needs to practice saying that. I think he needs to man up and be able to say this to the Geninda this week as we begin this week, because we, we can not continue like this. We can not continue waiting for Umnisi, Mshololo, and Ngome Zulu to nail um, Geninda when these are basic questions that Ramasipili can also handle. But let's continue on. Okay. Now, you also testified that uh, from, I think it's the reading of it, and you will correct me because that's, that's a bit fuzzy now in my mind. You, a statement of Longwe Twal that he, after the shots were fired, or the first shot was fired, he then ran back into the house. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that aspect. 
No, I don't think I. I don't think we went that far in so far yes. as long as far as concerned. Okay. We, 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 when we dealt with Longway, it was in so far as his description oh. of the revolver. Okay. Um, no, that's I'm, that's how far we went. Umabe. No, I recall now. You said you were referring to either H H and J J when you were speaking about collaboration. I don't know whether that way it is collaboration or corroboration. No. I recall now, you said you were referring to either HH and JJ when you were speaking about collaboration. I don't know whether that way it is collaboration or corroboration, but you said <clears throat> According to one of those statements, H H and J J, the accused number two says when he was running out after the first shot, another of the co-perpetrators co then ran into the house. Correct. Now the evidence of Zandile Kumalo on that aspect, and that will be found at page 56 of the transcript of the 18th of July 2023 is to this effect. I'm not going to read that. I'm just going to paraphrase is that after the phone from her mother, now that is the S4 phone belonging to Kedu Kumar, was taken by the intruder with a firearm that will be the one with dreadlocks she was in the bathroom and she was fearful that perhaps this intruder will come for me. So she peeped through the bathroom door and she saw that after he took the phone, uh, he immediately left. And within seconds, she left the bathroom, the confines of the safety of the bathroom, went to where she saw Senzo running towards, from the kitchen towards the corner of the dining room with Kelly and the mother at the corner and nobody else came in thereafter. My Lord, my, so so I think the difficulty I will have with Miss uh, with with that evidence, I was not I was not in court, so I I I, I it will be really difficult because I don't know how the question was 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 asked and answered. All I can say, my Lord, is that there is evidence in the confessions, or rather, it is contained. It is alleged in the confession of accused two that when i think the second the first shot and the second shot that hit the deceased he ran out it is contained there it's not what i'm saying or assuming and then he said as he was running out um the 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 one of his co-accused and, and he mentions it my lord it's also the accused four went in <coughs> and then he ran into 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 the into the car where he joined accused five and later he was joined by the other by the other accused that's what he says my lord so 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 that assertion is coming from that from from that angle my lord so, so as a court case my lord I, I think that proposition needs to be put in its proper context uh, mr ramos calls the evidence of uh miss zandi kumalo saying from her vantage point in the bathroom where he could see it was the uh, the, the dining, room, dining room, she did not see any person uh, running into the house. Uh, but it should be specified that running towards the dining room could be that the person ran into the kitchen. Um, the way that Mr. Ram simply put it, my lord, um, doesn't correctly uh, depict the evidence of Ms. Kumar. As it pleases my, the court, my lord, my lord, it's quite a simple and crisp answer. In one of her testimonies, Zandile Kumar says, our house, our kitchen is quite tiny, so you see everywhere. So- but she, Sorry, but she was imaging from a bathroom. Yes, and- Are you saying the bathroom is glassed or glazed? Because then I understand her, understood the evidence. The bathroom, she actually says she was between the, the basin and the toilet. And when you open, it opens towards the inside. Yes. Yeah, listen to the evidence. Yes, but remember, my But then, it, yes. does he say she could see the rest of the house 
according to you? Which door will the... The bathroom door. Which it door, opens inside. Which, it doesn't open outside. <clears throat> which door... Hello? Which door was used to enter the Kumalo household? The kitchen door. Yes. And the kitchen door, when you enter the house, there are cupboards <laughs> on the side. You've got to traverse that distance right up to the passage and then you traverse the distance of the sitting room. My Lord, uh, that's an issue that I will converse as well when we deal with these exhibits HH and JJ's to see mm. okay. the inconsistencies, the contradictions vis-a-vis -vis themselves and the other evidence that was left in this court by witnesses that were in the house. The evidence that we have of Ms. Kumar, sorry to yeah. interrupt, yes. Mr. Ramsey, on page 56, right. on the 18th of July, 2023, she says, sorry. then the gentleman with the dreadlocks took the phone and turned around. I did not know whether he was coming towards or coming to me. And then I went back into the toilet and closed. And she then said, and then in no time I peeped through again and saw that it means that he did not or he was not coming towards me, which means that he went out of the door. Um, so, my, my Lord, in other words, she's saying um, her view was restricted to the to the corridor. That's, that's, that's her evidence. Yeah, let us be for a minute. Now, uh, like I said, Brigadier, I've, I've deliberately left the issue of the so-called confessional statements for the end of my cross-examination. Right? Yes, understood, my yes. Now, let us go to the evidence of Zungu, Constable Zungu, who is central to why the accused persons, and in particular accused number two, is before court. Yes, my lord, I'm listening. I know how you guys love it when I do the slow motions. So I hope you loved the moment I picked this time, which was collaboration, or is it a collaborate? <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Make sure you drop your reaction down in the comment section down below. But you know what? Um, Ramsipili moves into the evidence of Uzandi Kumalo, which for me, you guys have known, is my favorite part, okay, of everything that Zandi has ever said on this case, that she was in the bathroom, okay, and, you know, the bathroom is facing a wall. I don't know, in your home, when you peep through the bathroom door, and let's do this exercise physically, and I wish Ramsipili had labored this point a little bit further, but he says he's reserving this for after cross um, at the end of his cross-examination, but if you peep through your bathroom door depending of course how your home is built the bathroom door in this case at the kumalo house the bathroom door when you peep through the keyhole you're looking at the wall of the corridor but uzandi has these magical capabilities okay she has these magical powers where she can peep through the wall and then somehow turn her eyes and then she can see where senzo meiwa ran and fell and she can also see that the intruder is coming towards her but no he's no longer coming towards her he's left the house and then no um you know she, she's got these amazing abilities she's got this fearless factor for me so i wish that ramasipili had labored this a little bit more and poked 2050 holes in Uzandi Kumalo's um, witness statement that she gave on the stand and instead he paraphrased and that is where who Baloi came in to nail him to the wall and I wish um, I'm sorry that Gininda came in and said well I wasn't in court I don't know how that question was asked I don't know why she answered it that way so I cannot answer that question so I wish that at that moment Advocate Ramasipili pulled out his paperwork and went on over to page 58 and read it himself. But then guess what happens? Guess what happens? Guess what happens? 
because he says and then accused number four which is Omar Pisa who I always say I really just this guy comes to court just on a tour, tourist visa out of prison because he's just here by association he's here for the fact that he ran into the house but nobody else saw him running into the house so okay so he didn't go to the bathroom so he ended up in the kitchen he was going in the house to drink some water this is such a <laughs> confusing confession from Ubongani Danzi, if I might add. And I wish that um, Ramasipili had stayed on this point a little bit longer and a little bit stronger. But then guess what happens? Okay. The difficulty, so Gininda says, the difficulty I'll have with that evidence is I was not in court. That's his new favorite answer last week to say everything. If he, he doesn't say, I don't know. No, he says, I, I wasn't there. I don't know what the question was. I don't know how I was answered. But what I do know, Mr. Deflect comes straight to the party. And he says, what I do know is that after the second shot, the intruder ran out and accused number four ran into the house. That's what I do know. And I know this from the statement. Whatever Zandi said, that's not my business. What I know is what is written as a confession. And I'm sticking to that, says the lead investigator, Brigadier Gininda, who bothered to not read further statements in the docket and admission by the uh, by the good Brigadier. So, of course, Baloi stands up to assist. And then Baloi says the proposition needs to be put in the proper context. She could only see into the dining room. The person could have run into the kitchen. Okay, rem okay, okay, Baloi, I see what you did there. You are right. He could, she, he could have run into the kitchen because that's all he needed. He needed to place that bullet over there behind the glasses, the bulletproof glasses behind the door. And now at least we know where the bullet came from that nobody saw until Mangena came the next day at around 11 a.m. But you know what? Asikolapo, Ramasipili continues and says, it is so simple and crisp. Zandi says that our house is quite tiny. You can see everywhere. Here, it was Ramasipili's moment to further shine and say, Brigadier Kininda, you said you were bringing me the tape. With the tape of that reenactment of the house, we can put this argument to an end. But for now, I will park it until you bring that tape. Or alternatively, this was a good time for the good Brigadier to bring a floor plan of that house. But better even yet, they could have gone all the way and done a re... What is it called? Remodeling? No, not a remodeling. Let me know the word in the comment section. I can't think of it right now. Um, build a model, okay? Build a dummy model just like the one that Mangena built when he took the door, okay, to the courtroom to show how um, Oscar Pretorius shot um, did the shots through the door and how he showed it. Okay. It, like that, if, if you've watched those videos, I mean, that was brilliant. Now we need that reenactment where Uzandi is in the bathroom. Okay. Mangana, do your thing. And then Uzandi's in the bathroom. She's crouching. She's peeping through the door. She's looking out and then a jiggy jiggy. She decides I can see Senzo. Now we need you to sh prove to us beyond reasonable doubt that she actually sh saw this moment that she claims she saw from inside Pagati, the bathroom. Now, guess who jumps to the party? Who drops down to the arena for the first time in a very long time? Judge Rata. And he says, so she said that she was emerging from the bathroom. Are you saying that the bathroom door was glazed? And that question should not be posed to Ramasipili. It should be posed, okay, to the investigator over there who was there, okay, who has the whole docket, who has watched the video, maybe, but clearly he hasn't, or has at least set foot in the Kumalo home or looked at pictures of the Kumalo home on that at, at that point because now it's been sold so obviously maybe things are not the same anymore <sighs> I have so much to say to labor this point that I wish Ramasipili had done but he promises us that he's going to do this during the end of his cross-examination so we, we can only wait and see right at descends into the arena arena and he says so the bathroom door is glazed i understand i understand her to say that the bathroom door opens on the inside okay and what's the relevance your honor i think that's a little bit weird does she say she can see the rest of the house again ramasipili should have parked this until they watch that video of the reenactment of 
everything or at least a floor plan is it an, a floor plan an architectural sketch or a floor plan of the house should have been beamed at that moment or a photo anything but just working off of memory because everybody is now imagining their own things that's why the judge is seeing a glazed door and by louis saying no the intruder could have just gone to the kitchen but with an actual floor plan beamed as umshola likes to say beam it that could have solved Ramasipili's um, problems because Ramasipili has been pushed into a corner. And then Ramasipili says, which door was used to enter the house? That's an issue I'll canvas when I'm dealing with the inconsistencies and contradictions vis-a-vis -vis, da, 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 of the evidence. Yeah. Okay, sure. So he's promising us he's going to get back to it, but will he actually do it? This channel is going to stay with our eyes peeled, waiting for that moment, Ramisipili, because we need you to hammer Zandile Kumalo's statement um, to shreds. Okay? There's no way she could peep through the bathroom door and see all those things. But I digress. So, of course, Baloi comes in and says on page A56, the gentleman with the phone, da, 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 and he reads. Remember, I said Ramisipili should have read this himself. Now, Baloi is reading it himself. And now, you know, because Gininda said I wasn't there, but had he read it, it would not have allowed Gininda to say I was not there and avoid answering the question. Ramasipili says, I've deliberately left the issue of the so-called confessions for the end of my cross-examination. Let's go into the evidence of Uzum. Yet again, leaves things in the air. That's my opinion so far, but I'm hoping he's going to collect all these things and tidy it up at the end of his cross-examination. We'll see. As we continue down along, let me end this video here. The next one, of course, we're going to go into this Uzumanizer evidence because he's another one of my favorite characters in this movie. Um, because Uzumanizer, <laughs> he's a constable in the South African police services, but he knows Inkabis, okay? They run within the family. And then his father is also now a state witness. And, 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 and. There is a lot. We'll break it down in the next video. You know already what you must do. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you find yourself watching this video and you're not subscribed, please do me a favor. Hit that subscription button because guess who has hit 47 thousand subscribers it's only possible when people like you subscribe to the channel so i really appreciate it because we're gunning for the fifty thousand subscribers okay because you already know that as an accredited okay miss universe channel i also would love to pursue other avenues as well and by growing in numbers this opens up spaces and makes us even more accredited all right so thank you so much for watching in the comment section i will drop my second back channel in the comment section i'm asking you to also subscribe to that channel and it is only possible with people like you who support the dreams thanks for watching thanks for watching the ads um it's monday let me know how your week is starting and that is it from me i will catch you on my next upload i'm zancy unfiltered checking out jane catch you on my next upload it's my lord i mean that's it yeah um,